Cold Pursuit is a film about uh, Nels Coxman. He's just been uh, named Citizen of the Year, and uh, his uh, young boy is um, inadvertently killed by a drug uh, ring or drug uh, gangsters. And then uh, he uh, doesn't accept the idea that he was a, uh, you know, he's written off as just a drug user. So he decides to go look for who actually, you know, killed him. Uh, it's a story about, you know, he's a snow plow, plow driver. He certainly is uh, not accustomed to criminal life or violence prior to this. So he's an amateur that ventures into uh, deeply criminal and, uh, and dangerous world as well. Uh, and being highly motivated is perhaps his only advantage. And also being an amateur has some beginner's luck. Uh, but at some point he, uh, you know, he, he runs out of options and people start to suss out what uh, is actually happening, and he creates a lot of uh, mayhem because of what is, you know, it's like he's set this huge destru uh, destruction in motion. Originally, it was, uh, I thought, uh, when the phone rang and people wanted to buy the rights, it was uh, somebody else would end up doing it. Um, it was Michael Schamberg, uh, the producer of this film, that asked me to do it. Um, and the idea of having Liam do it was very attractive. I think uh, he's a wonderful actor. I've been a huge fan since the uh, uh, first time I saw him. Uh, and the opportunity to make the film for a new audience with uh, uh, you know, great uh, access to you know, possible world-class actors in all these roles, because there are a lot of roles in this. That in itself was really uh, quite tempting. I think Liam has a unique quality, aside from being terribly experienced and having done all sorts of films, you know, is that he's not afraid to challenge himself. He's not afraid to try new things. Uh, I think he wanted to do something other than just straight action, and this certainly offers that. As, uh, uh, and the fact that he's still hungry and still uh, really keen to explore, uh, you know, his acting uh, made that all the more interesting because you think you know who he is, you know, he's almost this iconic uh, revenge guy and then all of a sudden he goes off and does something different with it, you know. Uh, and in such an effortless way, uh, I think that's quite unique. Tom Jackson just has a very imposing and, uh, uh, you know, yeah, you know, he's an aura about him. When he walks into a room, you just, uh, he's, he's, you know, physically a big man, but also his, his presence is very uh, impressive in a way. At the same time, he's a very kind-hearted and, uh, uh, you know, he's not, he, he doesn't, uh, talk a lot necessarily. He's he's very kind and, and and quiet guy, and I think because he was supposed to be the leader of a group that he quite obviously felt comfortable with, and also was not afraid to um, allow to be individuals. You know, he, uh, that requires a certain kind of self confidence, which he has. He has a quiet self confidence about him as opposed to Viking, who really is somebody who is uh, a narcissistic, uh, preoccupied with everything uh, from his own dialogue to his own clothing. And as a result, he gets all these uh, yes-men, um, people who are terrified to show their own individuality. 
that requires to be playful and, uh, and, uh, and have access to that kind of madness that the Viking has. It's not a lot of actors who, who are able to, to pull that off. And we did try, you know, looked in different uh, avenues. And, and when I met uh, Tom Bateman, I just knew that he was the right guy. I met him in London, and yeah, he has a charm, uh, but at the same time, he's uh, perfectly able to be that killer, you know? Well, they're important for different reasons, but as overall, they have one thing in common, which is, you know, these self-important men who uh, are oblivious to the you know, humor around them. Uh, uh, they see them as just trouble, so they all basically want to get out of harm's way or get the hell out of Dodge, you know. Uh, uh, Liam's wife, uh, Laura, she obviously uh, can't abandon him until he just becomes obviously uh, just somebody she can't relate to, and I think she sends him a wonderful <laughs> note at the, at the end. Uh, I think that's probably the funniest uh, humorous, uh, for me anyway, the humorous moment. Uh, uh, Aya, who is uh, Tom Bateman, or Viking's uh, wife, you know, she's linked to him through having a child together. Uh, she's doing everything she can to have him ex being exposed through his own action as the terrible father that he is. So. She keeps constantly, you know, nudging and hoping to, you know, get him to trip up and eventually make that big mistake so she can grasp him from him. Uh, 